Hello everyone and welcome to another in review. This time we are looking at the latest film from Leica Studios, Missing Link. I'm a big fan of Cuba and the Two Strings, the last film that they did before this. And just the stop motion animation style, it's such a, a genre that we don't see much of, this type of animation. And I think it's really interesting and there's a real market for seeing more of this sort of stuff as we get more and more realistic animation seeing this stop motion animation really puts a different sort of uh, wonder to the film and I think that really works. Um, going into the film now, I missed it when I was in the cinema so it was really good to catch up on it on the Blu-ray and as far as the film goes itself, a lot, comparing it to Kubo and the Two Strings, the, their film before this, I, it was a little bit of a letdown in far as that goes. I think it missed some of the magic that I was kind of expecting from the film. Um, you've got some really, a really good cast, though, in Zach Galifianakis, who has really impressed me with his voice work when he did in this, and uh, before this when he did the Lego Batman when he was Joker in that and put his own spin on that. And he puts his own... There's something about Abominable, Yetis, Bigfoot, all these different characters. There seems to be a big lot of stuff going around with them. We had the Yeti uh, film, I think it was last year, and we had uh, Big Fur, and we've got Abominable coming up as well. Uh, so to see another one, I, I don't know what it is at the moment, but there seems to be a real affinity for them. The other voice casting, you have Hugh Jackman, who's great as always, and so is Aldana, who will, is another one who continuously impresses. And the, the, so the voice cast itself is really great, and I think it's Emma Thompson as well, who plays one of the characters who doesn't have a big part in the film, but she really impressed me as well. So as far as casting goes, it's for, for the like comparing it to something recently that I've watched Lion King, where the voice cast didn't quite work. This one did really work for me. Um, over the story, I think it did miss some marks for me. I was expecting a little bit more, um, given how great Kubo was. So I was kind of expecting a little bit more from that. Um, and uh, let's just go into a little bit more into the Blu-ray because this one has quite a lot of features. You've got a lot of. Uh, so there's an audio commentary from the writer-director, Chris Butler, which is really interesting, and he points out certain things, and we'll talk talks about the film going through that, and that's really interesting, especially if you're into stop-motion. Um, and then again, if you're into stop-motion, then check out, there's a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes stuff about how they do certain set pieces and create different characters, and that's kind of the big selling point for this. If you're really into stop-motion, and find this sort of making of these sort of films really interesting. Then I really recommend getting this Blu-ray because there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that you you would enjoy on there. Um, if there's if that's for you, um, so as a score, uh, I'm gonna rank it separately on a as as a film. I I would give it a three out three out of five. I think uh, a particularly younger audience probably would enjoy it a little bit more. As far as the bonus features and stuff going on there, if you're really into stop motion, I'd really put it up there. I'd say a solid four and a half out, of four four and a half out of five. If this is what you're into, then there's lots of benefits for you to watching this and checking out some of the, the bonus features and all the behind the scenes stuff and the making and the incredible detail that goes in, into making these characters and this incredible beautiful world as well. There's some really gorgeous like sets and everything that's made um, and it is re it's really impressive it's such a skill to be able to do that, that I think um, you, you can never knock a film like this for the, the amount of attention to detail that goes into this um, so those are my two ratings for the film and for the blu-ray if this is if you're in stop motion then I think it's a must get um, but yeah that is it and uh, for this in review be sure to check out our in case you missed it every Sunday uh, the last one was a little bit later because we had our Comic Con special and uh, be sure to join us this Sunday for the latest in trailers and box office and film news be sure to check out all our videos as well and that is it from me goodbye